G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Victoria 3 and also welcome to Everyday December where I'll be uploading a video every day for the month of December. And today that's right ladies and gentlemen, we're playing as the beautiful country of Sweden. Now today I'm just going to try and form Scandinavia as quickly as I can. So um, yeah, a bit of a speed run today, but uh, yeah, we're going to sit back and uh, enjoy it. All right, so for research, we're going to go ahead and grab, oh wow, we got to grab atmospheric engine and then I'll think, oh, we'll start with intensive agriculture for now. Uh, budget wise, yeah, max out those taxes. We're going to start tax and services. Uh, I'm going to start doing wine and luxury clothes and furniture. We're going to just try and tax as much as we can. Um, so that should be good. And maybe we can build about four construction sectors to get us off the ground. All right, near tools. Uh, yeah, we've only got one tool workshop. Okay, and let me guess. Is it on crude iron tools or wrought iron tools? Uh, that's I wanna, uh, It's definitely going to be on wrought iron tools. And where is it? Tool workshop's down here in Scania. Okay, it's on wrought iron tools. God damn it. All right, so. So that's okay. Uh, well, that's good to know. So now we're going to might as well start uh, get some coal mines and start building a couple more iron mines down here in Gotland. And then I say that we start, you know, just building a little bit more logging camp in Scania. That should do us all right. Uh, obviously, yeah, we're on iron frame buildings. Absolutely. All right. Now we do have some interest. Okay. Well, uh, first things first, we have ales in the, the Baltic and then we got one in North Germany. I don't, how much can we actually have? We can have up to five. All right, now that's going to be very nice. Now we're going to go ahead and declare one in Ethiopia, Indonesia, South Africa, and then I'm going to do the Congo. And then from the Congo, we're going to go to Nigeria. Uh, so then we can grab Ben and Oyo and all that good stuff and make our Swedish empire. Um, all right, so we're going to wait for those uh, interests to activate. Okay, dokie. Okay. So yeah, they're all done now. Okay, and we are chilling with 13, 18 flotillas and 35 battalions. I almost said 13 flotillas. I don't know why. All right, so first things first, yeah, we're going to take a little look around, and uh, our first victim, I was going to say Gaza, because, well, it is going to be Gaza. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a diplomatic play. Now, the reason why I'm going after these little bottom bits here of South Africa is because they have a lot of coal mines and a lot of iron and coal, which is going to be very valuable to us because, well, first of all, we don't really have much of a working population, and this is only a level 8 coal mine, and it's, it won't do us value any in the future, and this is the only coal mine we have uh, at all. Um, I think in Scandinavia, if I'm not mistaken it's the only coal mine and it is absolutely horrible um it's yeah it's really annoying so we're gonna have to try and find our own coal mine which is all the way down here and uh, i'm hoping nobody else wants to get involved because well yeah no it's too late <laughs> oh thank god oh we got oh we got oscar bernadotte as our new king oh my days hello damn that is a nice looking mustache okay um gonna go ahead quickly promote this dude he's a republican as well uh, i'm gonna go ahead and do our naval invasion this shouldn't be too bad oh Oh, there we go and we won that battle we won that battle oh and we won entirely gaza just yeah nah you guys did not stand a chance uh yikes uh but there we go we have managed to conquer that little piece of land now it's transvaal's turn uh transvaal is next where do you think you're going all the back down there little man uh, i'm gonna obviously go back there through um i think we should be fine we can even bring portugal on this by just giving them lorenco marquez um but you know that's just gonna why what What's the point of me doing that? I, I just want to be honest with you. So you should do us all right for now. Yeah, we don't really want to build up interest. I don't think we're a powerful enough economy to even do that. Now, uh, just taking a look around, uh, we're obviously going to chuck the industrialist intelligentsia in. Um, I do want to move to free trade, um, but we don't have colonialism yet. So I'm going to grab colonial exploitation because obviously the industrialists like that and we're going to start bolstering them up as well. And that's going to give us a massive boost over everyone else. Because, uh, you know, we're going to make in an absolute economic beast that it is. And we finally got atmospheric engine pump. Couldn't have timed that any better myself. And uh, we might as well now go after Orange. Um, now, see, they would be great to send diplomatic packs after. I'm not going to lie. Like, just get them, puppet them and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no, I need all these mines. I'm going to do that to Madagascar or the Marina Kingdom if I do get the opportunity to do it. But whatever happens, happens. Uh, but lucky for us, only Great Britain and Portugal will get involved here. And I don't think anyone's willing to help out Orange here. So, um, and plus, our GDP is going to go absolutely 
skyrocketing when we cut. That's like a free mill right there. So very nice intensive agriculture as well. All right, we might as well grab the water tube boiler and then we should start going towards mechanical tools and railways because uh, railways is going to help us with our infrastructure. Oh, that's a Renji done. Oh, oh, we're going to get very stacked. I'm terrible at pronouncing these names. And there we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're near at 5.4 million and we are now back up to being the and major power, which is beautiful. Um, and hopefully colonial exploitation will grab that. And then, yeah, we are, yeah, so far so good. And uh, looks like we got a Goonie, Goonies uh, succession. Oh, nationalist opera, cancel the fireworks, cancel the revolution. Yeah, let's just cancel the revolution. <laughs> just, just, I uh, just cancel the revolution on Twitter. They're totally not going to revolt. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh man, got to deal with this. Yeah, this is probably going to be the, uh, the most and we got colonial exploitation now beautiful and uh i think i want can we move on over to la says fair or no yeah we're gonna try and move over to la says fair i think we can do that pretty easily yep that's right got a bit of a revolution over there happening and then we got a little revolt down here you gotta gonna have to put you to you gotta, gotta silence you little boy yeah Okay, that's the Gazan uprising done and done. Well, now I'm going to actually just start colonizing these areas down here. And then obviously we're going to move up towards colonial exploitation, the level two institution for that. Um, and yeah, we are reputable, which is nice. Um, but now I think it's time that we come back and put our focus back on the homeland. Now we do need sulfur and I don't think any of these places have sulfur. But we can also build up some gold mines, which isn't all that bad. So we might actually start doing that. And we're lucky for us. We got our sulfur mine right here in Brunei. So uh, how you doing, buddy? Just don't mind me. I'm just going to sneak my way on in. See, I have a, a massive, uh, you know, control over Portugal because we'll, uh, they, they, I got stuff that they want, but it's stuff that they're never even going to touch. It probably never, they're going to blink and be like, wait, they own that still? The hell? Uh, but yeah, no. So getting all these resources is going to be beneficial, especially if we're going to try and liberate Finland from Russia because Russia has so many damn troops, man. Um, yeah, it's going to be... No, I, I need Denmark to like me. I don't want them to hate me too much. But, you know, it's kind of like a bit of a mix and match... You know, um, but yeah, we definitely need to protect her. It's uh, Denmark as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, no, nah, that's that's Brunei done. All right, yep, yeah. Swedish dub once again. Uh, yeah, grab that and propose a deal. Cool, cool, cool. All righty, we've even got sulfur up and going. Uh, military wise, obviously we got to grab percussion caps and general stuff. And then yeah, once we do that, we should be good to go. All right, it's time for our first uh subject away from home. It's Madagascar. How you doing, Madagascar? Uh, trust me, you do well to be in the Swedish, uh, you know, my Swedish uh, conglomerate, whatever that means. I, I, that word is too big for my current understanding of the world. Portugal sides with the Marinar Kingdom. Are you stupid? I just want to put you, like, I just, I just want to put that out there. Because, yes, I'm going to, first of all, return Lorenco Marquez. Uh, these, yeah, you know, it's, it's land that you, that belongs to me. I don't know. How the heck I've got a return state on that? You could do a... Oh, yeah, we could enforce some party bureaucrats and stuff on the Marinac Kingdom. See, that will do them some good. I think that, yeah, freedom of conscience, that'll definitely make people a little bit more happy. I definitely also maybe want to grab uh, some other, you know, uh, maybe Portuguese Zambia, Zambiza, yeah. And then I'll also grab um, Portuguese Mocambique, if I can grab that. Portuguese Mocambique. Yeah, we can. All right, sweet. Uh, how, That's a little bit... Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, we uh, not too much in for me. Uh, well, sweet. That means we can just go straight for a naval invasion on uh, Portugal, and Portugal is yeah, they are they're done. <laughs> um, unless Madagascar backs down, but I don't think so. And I'm telling you now, uh, Portugal, you're gonna lose a lot of territory, my friend. And uh, they want public schools. Uh, yeah, we'll grab public schools. I don't mind. All right, looks like we're going to have a revolution. It doesn't really matter. I was close to the other one, but the trade unions... Uh, this guy's a land reformer, and, uh... Yeah, it's a pretty good bottom chunk, my man. Um, I... A land reformer. What do they do? Uh, oh, oh, I, I collectivize agriculture. My brother, 
I have to be honest with you. I don't think you understand that we are currently fighting a war. That we need people, we need to win this war. Otherwise, you ain't going to get your public schools because there's going to be, you know, we're going to have to pay a little bit. We're going to, you know, we're going to have to pay up. You know, that, you know, I don't think you've heard that saying before. You know, pay up, boy. I think we're just in an endless naval battle. See, I... Yeah, I don't think I can... All right, first things first, I need to send those dudes over there. Be oh, we've even got terrible stuff for mercantilism. All right, well, that's okay, because maybe public skills will die on down for a little bit. I can't bring these guys up for an extra two months, so that's going to suck. All right, let's... Uh, okay, Norway seems to have that little debacle caught up. I've got other thing. I, I really do have to deploy my troops down here, don't I? Why do I have to fight this civil war, man? The, the, oh, 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 wait. Portugal just... Hey. I ain't complaining. <laughs> I ain't complaining. What can I say? I mean, well, Madagascar's just stuck down there. They're, they're not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. So, um, yeah, our market at the moment, you know, it's not doing all right. It's, it's doing all right. We've got to preserve mercantilism, even though we're fighting a war against the uh, a provisional government. Uh, what is this? A... a Oh, yeah, it's a presidential republic. You know, if you guys would actually do something, I, if I really wanted to, that, you know, it could be good. It'd be nice, to be honest with you, but, you know. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this dude's thingy to, from line infantry and cannon artillery. Uh, got to get it all up to date now, so I'm just going to start importing a lot of ammunition. Um, so that's going to be one thing. We're going to be very dependent off it. All right, we've even got cultural exclusion now. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's um, uh, dedicate police force. Yeah, we're going to move over to dedicated police force. Might as well raising concerns. We gotta do what we gotta do. I don't think we're gonna actually do this because, yeah, they're just repelling us off and it sucks. It, it generally does suck. So, yeah, I'm not wasting more of my time. All right, well, we oh, returned to Null State. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, we got something out of it. We managed to grab all of that territory from the, uh, from the Portuguese. I mean, I kicked them in the balls. I mean, I genuinely did. And guess what? I don't feel bad about it. I did waste a lot of time. All right, well, it's now time to go ahead and liberate Finland because, well, France is in a, uh, a war at the moment, so they can't get on in this one. So what's going to happen? Well, we're going to call in both the British and Russia. I don't know how I'm supposed to do it, but we're going to do it anyway. Britain wants to get involved? Uh, yeah, uh, obligation. Uh, and yeah, we're going to call Prussia as our ally. Nice. Okay, well, uh, that's going to be very nice. Uh, we could return a bunch of our states. However, we are, you know, our in oh, our enemy is actually not. There's a lot going on. Okay, uh, we could grab, first of all, Russian war reps, which is probably great. However, I kind of just want to liberate some of the other I just want to liberate one just just and open up the Russian I feel like that's funny I just it's, it's just a joke you know just to just to mess around and stuff like that but yeah no we got to send our boys all the way over um so I'm gonna actually have him uh admin defense because he is a defensive strategist um so he should be pretty good but yeah all we got to do is grab uh Finland um I really don't know what uh Britain and Prussia are gonna be up to but I'm pretty sure this this is going to be a win for us. I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, otherwise we could be screwed or we may not be screwed, but uh, they are sending so many people on over. Oh my days. Hey, would you look at that? Yeah. All right. There we go. We managed to liberate Finland. How we doing, buddy? Uh, you want to support some Scandinavian unity? You know? Uh, uh? Oh, cool. All right. Well, that's fun. Oh my God. Am I losing it again? Dude, how does this happen? All right, so we just got pan-nationalism, and uh, I'm just going to go and launch ourselves for a unification play. Uh, everyone supports me, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a uh, thingy. It's just Finland. Lebex wants to side with Finland. It's just, uh, yeah, you want to cut me down in size and stuff? No one. I don't think anybody wants to get involved. You see, I don't want to call anyone in, just in case. You never know. You never know nowadays. We are now the ninth highest uh, GDP in the world. We will easily catch up to Prussia and Austria hungry. Um, so, so far, so good. I don't think I need, oh, you still need to incorporate all these states. Oh man, that's a, that's a bit iffy. Well, at least Denmark supported me. So, well, we got all of our stuff back there, which is nice. Um, and 
yeah, there's really nothing else to say except for, well, <laughs> Finland, you're gonna die. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's not gonna look good for you uh, at all. So I'm gonna do what I need to do and, you know, we're just gonna move on with our lives and stuff like that. Uh, that's this Lebec right there. That's little tiny little... I should have... Oh, there we go. Sweden. Chunky and I did not grab West Karelia. Well, Finland exists! Uh, but just didn't... Uh, now you want a defensive pact. Okay, we'll, uh, form Scandinavia. Hey, Scandinavian unification in contrast to the, uh, unequal unions of past Nordic, uh, hegemonies. You know, found Scandinavian say equally embraces Norwegian, Icelandic, and Danish citizens. A glorious union. The Finnish people, uh, also become... Yes, there we go. They also become equal citizens. All right, so that puts us as 26.7. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. We've, uh, managed to annex, well, literally everywhere else. Um, but yeah, that is Scandinavia, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, maybe it might as well just quickly, um... Oh, I could, I could unify Le 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 with uh, Lubeck. Um, apparently they're part of the unification as well. Uh, you might as well join me, my friend. I mean, uh, let's, let's be honest here. Holy moly. Okay, uh, right. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough Victoria Free for me today. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next Everyday December video. Anyhow, be here. <coughs> Like and subscribe and be so inside as well. If you like and subscribe, you got until the end of the video. Fine. I'll come over there and tickle your feet. Ah!